Oh, good morning, everybody. 6 a.m. Came home for the night. Time to head back to the truck stop, get everything ready, get on the road. We're going to Bellevue, Ohio today, somewhere I've never been before. So, let's go. Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning. We are going to be heading to Bellevue, Ohio today. Just got back to the truck here because uh, I went home last night. I made it back here from Allentown. I parked here just at about around eight o'clock. Uh, so it was really good, nice and early. And I went home. Now we're back at it this morning. We're gonna go to Bellevue, Ohio, which is up near Sandusky and uh, we're going to grab a load out of there it's a live load and then we're heading that up to uh kenosha up to wisconsin so good morning chalupa would you like to start up please see here there you are that's my big girl all right let's get the pre-trip going here get on the road Well, we made it. I just backed in the dock here. A uh, little bit of a squeeze. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of room to work with. It's not impossible though. But you got this trailer right here, sitting in that dock. You got the wall right there. I could probably touch that wall from just reaching out the window actually. But uh, yeah, so we're here. A little bit of a hiccup this morning. Uh, I got here, they were not expecting me and they basically said they did not have any loads uh, that were going for this, for Uline. And I'm like, well, I, I, have a, I have a PU number, I have a destination, I have, I have everything that you would need. And he's like, well, and let me call and everything. Either way, they got it all figured out and then turns out, yeah, they do have a load for Uline, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and get loaded and then we're gonna run this up to Kenosha. I will be there today. Um, initially I had set my ETA for tomorrow because I wasn't sure how fast the process would go here today but uh, it should be okay so I'll be able to have that up there today uh, current time right now is 10 a.m. I wanted to be out of here at 10 a.m. but it took about 45 minutes to get everything squared away of where I was going to be uh, dock wise and how they were gonna load me what they were gonna load me with but either way we got it all situated We'll be getting on the road here in a little bit. I just broke my sunglasses. I pulled them off of the holder. I went to put them on and the lenses just fell right out. I do have a backup pair if I need them, but I always have double with just about everything. <laughs> I think I fixed it. Oh yeah, 
much better <clears throat> much better and it's been about a half hour the lights still green they haven't even locked me in uh, I'll give them another 10 minutes or so and I'll run in and ask them like hey what's going on I know they're they're short staffed here I uh, heard all about that this morning so with being short staffed in uh, an unexpected shipment uh, because everybody that knew this was happening isn't here today. So the people that are here had no idea. So now they're, they were scrambling to get everything ready and to confirm things. And uh, sometimes you end up having to sit. It's the way it goes. This is beautiful out. It's actually kind of warm. I turned the truck off just to every effort to save fuel. Fuel cost right now is outrageous. So I'm trying to save the fuel as much as I can. So there's a little bit of a breeze, but with that wall right there, there's no airflow moving through. I do have those little fans I can plug in, but I, I should be fine. I'm just sitting here waiting, but that sun is warm. What's the temperature say? Let's see what we can learn from Weather Underground. That's the app I use for weather. I did a, review, a couple of reviews on that app and they're on the channel from a couple years ago. Um, 79 degrees. So it's it's a little warm. Feels good, but I wish it was a little bit cooler. Oh well, we'll just sit. But this is my view right here. Let me just unclip this. This is what I'm this is what I'm looking at. Fun times. Well, Two hours later, finally loaded. Unreal. They're in no rush to do anything here. But we're gonna get out of here now, finally, now that it's after 12. That's gonna hurt trying to get up there because my clocks have matched, so my time's just running now. So we'll see what happens. Break time. I just ate. I had some. Uh, my wife calls it poor man's lasagna, or lazy man's lasagna, or something like that. And all she does with it, I'm gonna finish up this pumpkin spice milk. Y'all seen this in the previous video? I'm gonna finish it up now. There's not much left. But what she does is she just takes the crock pot and she puts these uh, cheese ravioli in there. And she puts some spaghetti sauce and some other cheese and some seasoning and everything and just lets it go. You put some Parmesan cheese on that. Oh, it's delicious. Um, we are at the Service Plaza in Ohio. Still on the turnpike. 21 more miles, we'll be in Indiana. I'm not... I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it to Kenosha today. I may have to stop short. I sat in that dock for a long time. My clocks have matched. It's not due until tomorrow by noon anyway, so I have time on it. They did send me my reload. That's a pickup tomorrow. So that's working out really good. Risinger takes care of you. They really do. All the jobs I've had in my life... This is hands down the best. I love this company. It, it works out very well for me. Put my bread away. This is a loaf of bread I got at the Quick Trip for 99 cents. So of course it's, you get what you pay for. But I have squeezable butter. So I had some bread and butter with my Lazy Man lasagna. Just gonna, get this next load written down on my paper, accept it, and uh, we're going to get back on the road. 
Man, it's warm outside. Definitely warm. It's not really a bad thing, but. All right, back to work. I got up here to Kenosha. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make it. Uh, I had took my break and my clocks had already matched when I was at the uh, shipper there in Bellevue. But uh, it actually worked out pretty good. I got up here with about a half hour left on my 14. I did deliver that load and I real quick went around the back lot. There were no empty trailers, so I just bailed out of there. Bob down, bobtailed down here to the quick trip and I'm gonna go back this morning before my next load is ready and I'm gonna grab an empty uh, from down there. Because usually that's how it works if there's no empties in the evening. Because I didn't get there till, oh, what time was it? Six o'clock, 6.30 last night, uh, local time up here in Wisconsin. And with having no empties, I was, I did not have the time to waste to go inside and ask them about any empty trailers. Um, they were pretty busy. They had a lot of people in and out of there right at that point. So I uh, came down here. I struggled to find a spot. Thankfully, I was a bobtail because there was a spot in the middle row, which I know I don't normally ever park in. And there was another bobtail there. And he was nice enough that when he had parked, he pulled all the way up. So I was able to pull in behind him. And uh, I ran inside to the quick trip there and uh, when I came back out, he had left. So now I'm in the middle of this spot, so I pulled up. And then another Risinger backed in behind me, uh, and he was here for a little bit, and then he left. Um, he left this morning pretty early. But that's where we are. We're gonna be here for a little bit. Local time right now is nine o'clock. I'm going to uh, start getting things ready. I'll probably be out of here around 10.30. I'll run down to WG at Uline there, and I will look for an empty. Uh, that way I have time to secure an empty from there. And then we're running down to Pleasant Prairie for the next load, which is at W2. And W1 and W2, they seem to load heavier than W5 and W8 up here. So it'll be a little bit heavier of a load, I think. And I'm going to go to Brookville, Pennsylvania tonight and park. That way I can deliver in Allentown tomorrow and then be home tomorrow night and I'll be home Friday night, all of Saturday, Sunday, and I'll leave Monday morning, hopefully. We'll see how the reloads work out, but that's that's my plan at least. So um, I did edit my first video on the new tablet last night and I gotta say that thing worked very well. No complaints whatsoever. I was able to 
do everything I wanted to with the editing. I can make the file as big as I want and I even exported it in 4K. So that is like the highest definition that I can do. And uh, I'm hoping it turned out pretty good. I haven't seen the end result yet because I haven't rewatched the video. I, I haven't had time to do that yet. But uh, hopefully it worked out good. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you haven't seen that already, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's me holding the box for my tablet as the uh, thumbnail. And uh, I think it was called Trucking Vlog in 4K. So that's it. So I appreciate you tuning in today. I hope everybody's having a good time out there and being safe out on the roads. Mike, I want to thank you especially. Uh, every video, you're usually the first one that comments and you're very supportive of truck drivers. And I, I know that you watch from beginning to end and, uh, and you've, been, you've been here through it all. And I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate your support. So with that being said, I'm out of here. I'm going to start getting things ready to go get the uh, empty trailer. So stay tuned. Have a great day and have a great hike.